What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper 2. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we were able to unlock a new function of our flipper tool so that we can now change the style of any object in our house completely on the fly, which is great, but it's still not enough. And it won't be enough until we've unlocked literally every single tool or ability available. Then we can start doing our very own personal flips. But today we have two jobs, one of which is here in the suburbs, the other out there on the coast. I think we'll start here in the suburbs today though. Just skimming, it says Lumberjack Museum in Pinnacove. Our family house hosts the only Lumberjack Museum in Pinnacove. Interesting. Uh, cleaning it out and replacing the furniture and then unpacking some items. Sounds pretty easy. Judging by the email, I don't expect us to get any new tools from this one, but it's a stepping stone, right? It's a it's a step in the right direction. I kind of like this place already, dude. I love the fireplace. Kind of like a, like a cobblestone sort of fireplace. And then is this the Lumberjack Museum? It's just unfinished furniture? No, 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 no. That can't be. That can't be the actual museum, right? Oh, that's a that's a door. I did actually just try to walk through a, a glass pane there. All right. I'm digging the rafters. So maybe this was the museum room and then they've kind of cleared everything out. That would make sense, I suppose. I love the double doors there. That looks nice. I don't think we really have to do much here apart from in that main room. And then I think maybe some stuff outside as well. Oh, what's going on, my man? We opened Hello. the right door. Glad I managed to catch you. Your work is going well, I hope. I forgot to mention that we also want the old living room redone. You see, that small room served as our home office as well. Both oh. me and Jill, my wife, have paperwork to do from time to time. And we right. could use a proper space for Jill. it. Though I His wish wife. we didn't have to close sure, the museum bud. Um, change may be Jill good. Jill tells me the same thing. And yeah, I'm sure she does. It's an opportunity to focus on my carpentry business. She you get it. She thinks I spent too much time in the it. past instead of the present. If you but don't get it, that Pinnacle loses another trace you're probably not of old enough. History. Uh, I should get to work. I see you're yeah, more enough. of a doer than a talker. Enough so chit chat, brother. And thank you for That's your work. That's beautiful. You are welcome, brother man. Okay. Well, we have this tiny little room over here. I'm just gonna shut all the doors to the rooms that we don't actually have to do things in and also get the lights turned on as well. I feel like I kind of forget to do that most of the time and then it ends up being real dark and, and depressing and just sad. Oh, here's their sign, Pinnacove Lumber Museum. This really is a pretty dang cool spot, especially the workshop out here. I'm actually kind of upset we don't have to do anything in this room. But outside, we're supposed to just buy three new items. Oh, first we have to sell. They don't want their sign anymore. See you later. And then they don't want this door. Okay, now they just have a weird little path leading to nothing. Just leading to straight up siding. Now we can buy some new stuff. Oh, this is probably where the plants need to go. So we can kind of fill the void. I've gotcha. Let's place that right there. And then... This lavender looking bush, we'll put right there. Good as new. You couldn't even tell that there was ever a door there. I don't think they want us to get rid of this trash, but I might just do it just to help them out. Making our way back inside. In here, we have to sell 37 items. They still got a lot of junk left over uh, from the old museum. So we're just gonna sell all of it for them. Last thing. Got him. Oh, no. Three more things. What the heck? What am I missing? Oh, the double door. Okay. They're getting rid of that. Hopefully, temporarily. And then one single shelf. If I was a shelf, where would I... Got it. I could use... Yeah, I guess I could use our flipper vision. That's usually pretty helpful. Uh, but that's all we have to do as far as selling things goes. So let's pick up what little trash is actually in here. Big fan of that. Minimal trash. Before we start unpacking these boxes or buying new furnishings for this room, I think we should probably go through and just get it all cleaned up first.
There we go. Okay. Stains taken care of. Dude, this floor is actually really, really pretty. Um, you couldn't tell because it was kind of covered in a lot of dirt and, and gross stuff. Let's see what we're meant to be purchasing in here. So we are converting this into a new living room. Gotcha. They need some new door frames. Probably supposed to go exactly where those double doors used to be. Oh, there's actually a little outline of it right there. Cool. That's helpful. So long as this TV can actually fit up on the mantle, I think I'm just going to kind of organize the rest of the room around it. Oh, dude, I didn't pick the channel. Hang on, hang on. Change style. We can do this completely on the fly now. We can do a cooking show. Um, Pamelo TV. Whatever that is. Modern Aliens, that's the one. TV volume, let's maybe drop that down to like 50. And we can just leave that on the whole time. It's a good show. Give it a chance. It's it's really pretty all right. Once again, I decided to go with what the client wanted for their furniture coloring. And unsurprisingly, it looks pretty bad. I mean, the rug looks like a tennis ball. I don't even know what that looks like. This seems very lumberjack-esque though. I mean, that, that totally checks out. I just hope that these people aren't dog owners because the Monstera plant, notoriously toxic for dogs. But I think now, we should be able to start opening these smaller boxes and larger boxes and getting some additional decor in place. Okay, I'm going to have to move the Monstera somewhere else because I think that painting picture looks a lot better up there. We're almost done in here. Just one box left. They've had some interesting decor thus far. The hatchets, plural, uh, that checks out, right? They are uh, big fans of, of lumberjack stuff memorabilia uh, but we've got a beaver painting poster picture whatever you want to call that uh, a deer one and then we have one for raccoons as well but I think my favorite one of all is this one just above the fireplace just the manliest man man you ever seen a typical lumberjack out in the out in the woods felling trees with nothing but a but a hatchet in hand I think we had some other stuff on the opposite side of the wall over here start by just selling whatever we can lights as well and then two more things what do we got the water closet sign okay that makes sense it's not going to be open to the public anymore it's just going to be their their personal home and then we need to sell one door this door but why tell me okay tell me there's a new opening going in its place it's gonna say how else are they supposed to get into their kitchen i guess they do have a Never mind, that's a pantry door. We do have a little bit of schmutz out here that we need to clean up real quick. Some like dusty outlines of old paintings and stuff like that up on the on the cobblestone there. Okay, hallway complete. Next up, let's go to the bathroom probably. Change this all around. Oh, we're selling a lot of it. Oh, that's right. He had mentioned I don't remember specifically what we're turning this space into, but he had mentioned turning their I think he called it a half bathroom, maybe a powder bathroom, something like that, into something else. Again, I, I don't really remember what it was. Laundry. It's a laundry room now. Just a cabinet, washer, dryer, the usual stuff. There we go. Easy. Too easy, in fact. Back in here, start by selling six items. Gotcha. That I can do. It's probably the easiest job out of everything that that we're asked to do is just sell stuff. Okay, those things don't need to be sold, but we're gonna have to probably reorganize them. This is gonna become uh, just an office instead of an office and living room combo. No way that's it. There is no way that that's it already, dude. I feel like we just got here. I mean, we are sitting at three stars, so we must be, we must be all finished with it. Let's see how much money we're gonna make. 7,600 bucks. For something pretty simple, that's really not that bad. After finishing that one up, we're now sitting with $124,000 in the back pocket, but we're gonna move on to David Hoffman's job next. Changing the upstairs floor plan, uh, rent it out to tourists. Okay, there's more here. Bring down some walls and then divide it into three bedrooms. That can only mean one thing, the sledgehammer. It is about dang time. Let's see. There it is. And we can build walls. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. This might actually get us to the point where we can start doing our, 
our own personal flips and stuff. Uh, but let's go through this place. This front entryway looks a lot like the demo house. A little bit. Maybe it's just similar. I don't think it's... No, this seems bigger over here. I don't think it's exact, but it probably is a little similar. All right, we've got the kitchen over here. The terrazzo um, sort of backsplash in there. Not a big fan of that, but maybe that's what these people are into. There's a bathroom back here. Got a nice looking shower. I like that. And then bedroom. Uh, back little porch area. That's kind of nice. And then a little Harry Potter room right underneath the staircase. So let's head upstairs since that's where the email said we'd be spending a good majority of our time. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a completely unfinished space. And there's like bricks missing from the wall. Okay. I'm really excited to see how we actually go about building walls. You know what I mean? Because in sandbox mode, it's it's going to be completely different. And that's the only thing I have experienced thus far. In here, nothing to do in that bathroom. Good deal. And we've got another, like, partially torn down wall. Bunch of furniture probably have to get sold off. Some trash up here, too. That's always nice. We love some trash. Okay, I'm going to grab uh, their trash can, then. Couldn't help but notice this as we were cleaning up some trash. We've got just a completely destroyed turlet in here. We've got, like, some, some pipe that must have fallen off something. Oh, there's actually quite a few more holes in this wall than I saw. I, I only saw that one. There's also one down at the at the baseboard there. Well, I guess let's get out our cell tool and we'll just start going to town, selling as much as we can. And that's it. Okay, pretty easy. And that means we're done with the trash can now as well. So I'm going to bring that down. Before we start cleaning up everything in here, I think it probably makes more sense for us to get out the sledgehammer first to see what all we actually have to demolish. And we'll be able to see how this thing works. Oh, if you hold it, it gets bigger. That's kind of handy, dude. Okay, right there. Perfect. Oh, did I? Okay. Thought I took out some floor accidentally, but we're good. We're chilling. So right up here, same thing. You just hold it a little longer. That is nice. That is nice. The animation kind of seems like... I don't know. It kind of seems like maybe the frame rate isn't super good on it specifically. But it's not terrible. Or maybe it's just because I went around and turned on nearly every light in the dang house. Usually that has some uh, impact on performance. Got a demolishing perk, too. Let's check that out. Ooh, big bang. So it's even larger now. It demolishes an even larger area. Also, I was informed recently that you don't have to select these in order. I'm going to do that because that's just who I am, right? But uh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, uh, let's actually get that back out because I think we had some more smashing to do in here. We'll see how large of an area it can get rid of now. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. Same thing there. Perfect. Okay, done with demolition? Must be. All right, in that case, we'll get out our little sponge, our little rag, and we'll start scrubbing.
All right, cleaning complete. Now in this room, I think we had to do some building. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna try to build prior to painting. I just feel like that's a smarter way to go about doing things. But let's figure out where we're actually meant to build in here. I know it's that room. Oh, the email did say they wanted three bedrooms upstairs. But yeah, we probably just need to basically split this one room in two. Uh, what? Oh, we just hold it? Okay. And we hold it again? Oh, we just keep holding it. This is easy! I actually, I actually heard some people complaining about this. And I was like, it can't be that bad. It just takes time. You don't even have to do anything other than hold left click. This is really pretty simple. I, I don't know what all the fuss was about. And we got a, a building perk from one wall can't beat that well you could but that would be weird let's see what our new perk is building racing trowel okay while building walls you can place the mortar faster just don't forget to add the bricks cool in this new room we're supposed to paint it yellow or white i'm just gonna place the yellow in here we'll see what all we'd have to paint with that or maybe this wall would have to be white and these would all have to be yellow I'm just going to stick with the yellow for right now. I think that's probably fine. And then in this room, again, white or green this time. Let's go with the green. Let's add some color up here. As if the teal doors aren't enough color on their own. And then here we've got some blue. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll do mostly white paint, but with a single color accent wall. How about that? me leave it to me to forget about this again in the previous episode we also unlocked the ability to make our paint roller so much larger and i'm just now remembering um even though i've already painted both of these rooms and all of the the white in this room it's fine it's totally fine you know what let's see how much faster this actually is oh the selection thing is a bit weird there we go now we make it larger and we can get to painting Oh, dude, that is so nice. That is so nice. I've also kind of found out that I like to try to utilize both the WASD control as well as mouse movement. Just kind of seems a bit easier if you combine the two. There we go. It's as easy as that. Now that we have the painting done, I'm pretty sure we had to do some tiling and or paneling in these rooms. Actually, we're Probably going to have to finish the hardwood floor in here as well. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay, but that should be already the same thing that they have in here, I think. Real shame we can't make this thing any bigger, but it won't take us too long to get all these laid down. Hardwood floor, done. Finished. Dunzo. We're moving on to wallpaper on probably the brick wall in both of these rooms. So let's choose something... Maybe similar for both. Whoa, yellow? Really? Okay, that's going to look pretty weird. But sure, we can we can go with yellow. And then we'll do some stripes in here. I mean, I don't love it personally, but it's not my house. So who am I to judge them on what they maybe think looks good? We're sitting at around two out of three stars of completion. So I think all we have left to do really is just get all their furniture 
placed in. So I will see you guys here in just a few minutes. A few moments later. Okay, the actual last thing that we need to do here today is just edit the wiring, which this was my first time messing with it. And it's so much simpler than I thought it was going to be. That's, I mean, that's all you have to do. And boom, the light switch just works perfectly. You could also like tether it to lamps and stuff if you want to uh, go through all that. But um, both of these bedrooms over here are pretty much just mirror images of each other. Like this one's using a lot of yellow furnishings. This one's using more blue furnishings, but it's got yellow walls. This one has more blue walls. And then just down the hall. Oh, actually, speaking of hallway, I don't really know what we were supposed to do with like the shells. They, they wanted these shells up there. So I just put them to the left and right of the mirror. I don't know. I don't think it looks terrible, but it does kind of look a little weird. This, I'm guessing, is going to be the master bedroom, but again, very nautical themed, being on the coast like we are. And once again, they're watching, not Ancient Aliens, what's this show called? Modern Aliens. It's a good one. With Robert Watchman. It's time to dip. Time to head out. Time to see how much money we're actually going to get paid for uh, completing such a big job. $42,000. Yeah, that was that was well worth it. So now we're sitting with $166,000 to our name and we've officially unlocked every single tool or ability available in the game. So I think that's actually where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.